Going in live. Three, two, two one. From bath, my house. Not the bath, not the ceramic tub. We've got a guest. He wouldn't fit in the bath. He definitely wouldn't. Not all three of us, not a chance. Right. One on the toilet wanking, two in the bath. Easy, mate. Easy as that. <laughs> Guest today on the vlog, if you hadn't noticed already, eating his curry. A bit hot, is it, mate? Look how unprofessional this is. Really we couldn't be more professional on his channel. Yeah, we were ready as well, weren't we? Gordon Greenhorn, Picture. professional troll. Am I still related? Yeah, is everyone that? knows he was a troll, mate. Yeah. But then, but then my point to that is, are you a troll if you're right? Uh, you do live under a bridge. Yeah. Vlog today is how to eat out with friends and be social, not that we have any, and stay on track of your diet, innit? I think a big stumbling block, I think, sometimes is a bit of peer pressure and doing things outside of your normal setting, so like going out for food, being around other people, and that's where a lot of people do slip up. They don't want to act as though they're on a diet and they don't want to be the odd one out, I suppose. So yeah, this morning I had a really low calorie breakfast. We've just eaten a very low calorie meal. We're doing some filming. It's for social media videos. Gordon's just watching and learning from the professionals. Yeah. Because he's contributed nothing so far to the videos. Absolutely um, nothing. He's got his little we'll... face in though, hasn't he? Yeah, he's got his face on. We're then going to um, go Watson and train. We're going to show Gordon how to lift yep. properly. Anyway, we're going to go carry on filming because this has dragged on too Have long. Have you got already. soy milk in here? Do you know that gives you milk? Almond milk. Oh, oh almond, God. sorry. <laughs> almond milk. I didn't know you were that kind of guy. Yeah, well, Quite save frankly. calories where you, you can. Did you That's put, a top tip, almond hold milk. It, hold on just a second. Did you put almond milk in my coffee this morning? Yes. I told you it was almond milk for a start. You're basically transgender now. I told you it was almond milk. So I went, Wait. you went, have you made me a, a cappuccino? Have you made me a cappuccino? It sounded <laughs> like that. Exactly the same I, as I that. Same like that Italian no, guy offered this morning. Hey, have you made me a cappuccino? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where he's from. I don't know where he's from. <laughs> Can I do that? No, you can't do that. That's what I'm not going to do. Right, we're going to go you train. Be a no, 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 we're going uh, <laughs> to go film more videos, <laughs> then we're going to train. Uh, yeah. It, it, don't do that. Did look that, at, did look that last it. night. I know. Unprofessional on this channel. Come to our channel, that's unprofessional. Mm. I'm, sweating. I'm sweating a little bit. I know, it's not nerves. sweating yet. It's a nerves. It is hot in It's a nerves. When you're comfortable on camera, like me, it comes naturally. <laughs> comes like, it's just like another person in the room, isn't he it? Always, he always comes naturally on camera. What a dickhead. Just finished training, haven't we? Yeah. Back and arms. Back and arms. I just realised we haven't told them what our current rotation is and they might like to know. Yeah, they might do, they might not. We'll tell them anyway. You can't use me as a bad example because you're doing the same thing. Legs, session one. Session two. Upper. Session three, which is the day after we have a rest day. We have a rest day. So day four of the week. Push. Day we, five. Which, which is like chest and shoulders pretty much. Because we leave triceps for today. And we did back and arms. Didn't back we? and arms today. Yeah, legs and once a week. I don't like people who are like, oh, you've got to train legs twice a week. If you're bodybuilder, yes, you do. So that's only four sessions. You don't have to train six times a week. You don't have to do double days. The other thing as well, when you start dieting, your volume should probably reduce. Yeah, a lot of people go, well, should I, should I do more? Do high, high rep sets, no. more training sessions, more volume, no. all the drop sets, burns more calories. If you're using your resistance training as a fat burner, you're going about it all the wrong you're way. What your resistance training is, is to maintain the, the muscle mass that you have whilst you're dieting. So you should be training in a similar fashion yeah. to your off-season. But with less calories, you're going to get less recovery, so your volume should actually reduce. The biggest thing that's going to retain muscle is the load on the bar. Yeah. So you can do all the reps in the world, but you're just wasting energy and you're not actually going to maintain the tissue you've got. Yeah. The best way to train when you're dieting is as heavy as possible. Get in, get out. It's what she said. Did just what, three get out with you, usually. Yeah, yeah, what are you doing in my house? Yeah, get out. How long have you been in here for? Yeah. That's the basics. Like I know people get caught up in the minutiae and they think that they have to do more or that they 
especially when they're doing a fat loss phase, they try and plan out their training for all their weak points. It's like, yeah. when you're training for fat loss, you're not gonna build a huge no. amount of muscle. So don't focus on thinking, I've gotta get eight, 30 sets on my triceps because they're a weak area. It doesn't matter. It's, it's, so, like, it's just it's, it's a really common thing when people say that they so need common. to do more yeah. more more supersets more drop sets because it yeah. burns more calories it's fucking negligible you'd be better off doing more cardio 100% you'd be better off 100%, doing that 100% like again stimulus load on the bar that's it use cardio to expend calories don't use your training it's e session it's easier for you to recover from that cardio than it is to recover from a session a weight session that you do a bit of volume a bit of weight but but not really enough of anything to kind of help you're just doing hard cardio hard cardio <laughs> cardio doing, steady by doing four sessions a week of resistance training you've got more time in your week to fit in more cardio whereas if you're doing six weight sessions you fucking who wants to do cardio on days you've got to do weights yeah. as well no four three oh. three to five sessions a week probably air on the side of bit four and five are probably going to be your best bet we've lost Gordon we've lost Gordon where's he yeah. gone anyway is he still um, in the gym filming shit he's still, still in, in the gym, gym. so work. we're going to get a Nando's for our post-workout meal I basically I hate again I hate post-workout meal that's winding me up as though it's some <laughs> some kind what's of what's not winding you up at the moment I, I don't know everything, everything. as though it's, it's some my, special it's meal that yeah. has to come post you mean it's just your meal yeah, and your next you trained meal. earlier yeah that's it like yeah. that's it yeah I'm going to start calling my my post post-workout meal and then yeah. my post 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 Post. People do. People do. Like pre pre workout meal. Yeah, people do. <laughs> I've seen it. Yeah, Who? post post. Who? <laughs> My post post. If we don't train today, that means that this is our post 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 post, post, post. meal from yesterday. Yeah, ridiculous. <laughs> so yeah, this is our meal. You know that just so happens to come after, after we've workout. just worked out. Yeah. We're going to go to Nando's. Dan is going to approach this in the fashion of I'm he's going to have, have his have. normal food. I don't eat We're both <laughs> dieting still. He's going to have his normal food, and I'm going to select something that I wouldn't usually get because I tend to eat fuckloads. So fitting that into a diet for me is not great. Mm. So I have to make changes. Anyway, we probably should go and find Gordon. He's still in the gym somewhere. He's trying to find some gains, I think, from somewhere. He's fucking yeah, putting the pink weights back. Yeah, he's been looking for a long time, hasn't he? Anyway, we're going to go and uh, yeah, we'll catch up with you in Nando's. So, at Nando's, obviously, just seen that we're at Nando's. So. Fairly obvious, isn't it? You didn't really say that bit. They are idiots, so, so you've got to cover all bases. We've established that, haven't we? Yeah. What are you having, Daniel? I've gone for double chicken pizza, sweet potato wedges, and macho peas. Time is you have wings, don't you? I do you? like wings to start, yeah, but. But still. I've still not gone full decent, chicken it? breast, just on its own. So. No. So I have gone with two chicken fillets because the portions in Nando's tend to be quite small. So I go for two, and that's a normal chicken breast. It's like they've fucking got them off a sparrow. Sweet potato wedges, don't use them in my fitness pal tracking of Nando's sweet potato wedges because it includes the sour cream dip and the nuts that it comes with. And the way that they cook it is oven roasted, so you can just track it as roughly 150 grams of sweet potato because on average that's what it tends to be because I used to weigh because I was an idiot. And then I've got some char grilled veg and a salad with that. So I've adapted what I would usually have. I would usually have a chip. double chicken breast burger, a large chips, wings, and then a salad as well. So yeah, massive, massive reduction in calories. And also soft drinks as well. You probably want better alcoholic uh, beverage maybe. Yeah, possibly. You've been known to have a wine in that, not you? So, in total, so far, including my breakfast and my lunch and this Nando's, I will be on 800 calories. Breakfast, lunch, and the Nando's, 800 calories. I've still got over 1,000 to eat. I'm going to be, after this, be on 1,200. I've had two lots of 300, and this is going to be 600. Easy. It's easy as well. That's it. That's it. There's nothing more annoying when you're dieting. Like, I, I'm not gonna claim to be a fast eater. When you have an extremely slow eater at your table. Yeah. Harry, any danger you finish finishing, mate? How much have you got left? Just a few hours. He had half a chicken and chips. By the time you finish, I'll have finished breakfast. I'll finish fucking dieting, I think. He's doing it on purpose now, though. He's taking the piss with it. Alongside his top knot. That's top knot. That, 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 that needs to come off as well. He's got to go home now, his mum said it's home time. Go How are we ending? How do you, how do you end your videos? Do you have like a... Happy ending usually? Usually, yeah. <laughs> Happy ending? Yeah. Charge get, get your cock out of it. <laughs> we didn't charge for it either. Oh, it is. Looks like a mushroom. So that's how fucking easy it is to incorporate a meal out whilst dieting. That easy. Really and fucking easy. I'm, I've, like I say, I've still got 1,200 calories to eat. So I'm going to go, I'm going to have some ice cream, and I'm going to have... You have 1,200 left? 
Yes. What have you been doing? Not well, eating. That is that's taken taken me you've to eight hundred. You've eaten loads of food today. Correct. Because I'm good at dieting. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. See that approval there from somebody else in the industry. <laughs> you know the standard's not industry. great. That's still. <laughs> he's, he's in the industry at least. So, <laughs> so he kind of made Yeah. It. Take our word that we know what we're talking about. Yeah. Right. Because even there, I could have made better choices than the one I made. I still went for some that, some things that I probably wouldn't have had if I was really, really conscious of calories. So, and you can do that in any restaurant as well. People always go, oh, but they didn't have the, the stuff on my fitness pal. Yes, they probably did. Just use a different restaurant that had yeah. similar foods. And also, oh. a steak is a steak. Yes, like, chicken is chicken. Regarding, I think one one thing about restaurants, if, if we can, if maybe I can add to the video. Or add to it. Uh, is I mean, overestimate, always. Yeah. yeah. Good always point. assume they use always, oil and stuff. Always, good point. You know, and, and just add, I don't know, sometimes I'll get clients to add 10 grams of, or 10 mils of like olive oil or something, or maybe 20 mils or so, because that just might equate for any kind of extra sauces and calories and things that are inevitably going in it. Yeah. And let's be honest, you don't have to be absolutely pinpoint, you just got to be under. Yeah, it's roundabout. Like, you're never going to be exact. Right. Like, you might be right. 100 under or 100 over. But it's not going to be a thousand. It's not going to be enough to offset your progress unless you're eating out for every fucking meal. Like it's going to be roundabout. So exactly. have a good estimate, a good guess, and you're all right. As long as, as long as you're honest with it. Yeah. Because I've seen people track meals. What I would track, like fifteen hundred, I would track it as something like that. Four hundred. They, they're tracking 400. it. Four hundred. Really long ending, isn't it? It is. Yeah. <laughs> it's, not, it's not an ending, mate. This is still part of the oh, content right. we're yeah. giving oh. out here. Don't you worry oh. about that. It's all gold. It's, it's all gold. It's all gold. It's all gold. It's all gold. This is the beginning. It's just the beginning. But the other, last tip, if, you're not, if you can't track and you really don't think you can track, if you save yourself a thousand calories for your evening meal and you make sensible choices when you're there, you're not going to go over it. No. Just an excuse to be a yeah. pig. Don't be a pig. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, end of video. Yeah. We walk off now. Yeah. That's what we do. Well, I need my we do, I need like, Into the distance, bye. and then can we like camera. Photoshop like a sunset I don't in, know what happens. Yeah. And then we walk off. Yeah, do that. It's like Wizard of Oz. Stand.